be surprised if FG, the federal government, says we should renew our marriage certificates annually, Patrick Adenusi. Amid the ongoing public backlash that has greeted the annual proof of ownership tax imposed on all vehicle owners by the Tinubu administration, public affairs commentator and road safety consultant Patrick Adenusi has launched a scathing criticism on the federal government of Nigeria over the nature of the tax it imposed on the masses. Recall that a few days ago, reports from, this, from several media houses indicated that the federal government will, from the month of July, commence the collection of 1,000 naira for proof of ownership certificates on all operational vehicles across the country. It was also announced that the certificate will serve as a valid proof that a car is legally owned by the registered individual or entity and will contain vital information such as a license plate number, model and year of manufacture in addition to the owner's name and address. However, while appearing in an interview on Channels TV, Sunrise Daily Program a few hours ago, Adenusi questioned the rationale behind taxation of cars that already have existing documents issued to the owners by the same federal government. He went on to state that he would or state that he would not be surprised if the Tinubu administration finds other ways of imposing more taxes on Nigerians who are already struggling to survive under the current economic hardship. He says, when you hear and see something happen in Nigeria, you will think you have heard and seen it all. The rate at which the taxes are being imposed, I won't be surprised if the government decides to tell us to begin renewing our marriage certificates annually. It is unfortunate that the things that happen in and around Nigeria won't make sense in other climes. I live both in Nigeria and Singapore, and in Singapore, the government doesn't want people to have much cars, so they impose heavy taxes on vehicles well you know you also have to compare the transport system that exists because if they don't want more cars or let's say they're trying to find and you know develop electric cars that are more healthy for the environment then you know it makes sense uh but the reason they don't want people to have that much cars is because they have an excellent transport system they have an underground and overground trains luxurious buses and so on but here in nigeria i don't know why the government will tell me that I need to keep proving the ownership of my vehicle on an annual basis, especially after I've carried out the necessary registrations that all prove I own the car. It honestly doesn't make any sense. And it would never make sense. Whatever the government tries to do would never, ever make sense. Because at the root is dysfunction. At the root is systemic failure. You know, no regulation. No accountability, lack of maintenance. These are issues that affect Nigeria from in every sector at the root. So, of course, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that you don't even have identification, an identification process for your population, right? Starting from how many people are here, right? Statistically, numbers, data is your best friend it's hard. it's not hard nigerians have talents to do it we're starting there right most nigerians are out of jobs you can't identify them identify their income there's so much identification process and so ad- such massive data administrative work that is needed with our population and you know what is even funny we're talking ownership of vehicles like what does that prove? What does that help with? And you get taxed every year and you have to provide documents every year that you own your vehicle. So that's what? Because if we're going to tackle issues that have to do with the roads and road users, road users that include drivers, pedestrians, cyclists, all that, what they could even focus on is that every year your car gets a a national service certification that proves that your cars are good enough and um for lack of a better word healthy enough to be on the roads that's what it is if they were going to do something a bit more sensible why to prevent accidents Especially that third million bridge. 
especially with trucks with logistic vehicles that are big that carry whether it's fuel whether where it's um stock th- these are the things right you can literally see especially if you go to roads like mile 12 you're looking at people transporting food and the 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 boot of the car is filled with tomatoes in tomato baskets and as the car's driving tomatoes are falling down a car that's coming behind it is crushing the tomatoes the place looks like a mess so it's like they do little things here and there that first of all they don't have intentions of, as to what they're trying to achieve and because they don't have that it doesn't make sense because they're not catering to a need it's like they're trying to g- create an illusion and a facade of hard work or um a developmental process but are developing nothing and so when it's now time you know for the 2027 elections you will now have individuals saying, but remember the time when Tinubu said that we have to register da, 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 register these cars as proof of ownership. So, I personally, I'm of the idea that we need to start from scratch. We need to redesign, like, and and that's the thing, right? And it, That's why, like, we are really our own problems because individuals will come out and tell us their plans and redesign and start up they have for Nigeria. And yet, yet... <laughs> We will choose what is not for us. And maybe at the end of the day, you know, it's a saying that Nigerians or people don't like good things. Put what you think in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe.